part by Inked Playmats at inkplaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTS to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats. Your game, your style. To do on their website and come join us for a fun-friendly F&M environment. Kevin from Klotz Productions, and welcome back to Game 2 of the match between Coldotha Red and Blue White Pike. Nick was on the play for this game and started off by laying down a Seachrome Coast and using to cast a Ponder. He chose to rearrange the cards on the top of his library and then draw one. Scudder then laid down a Mountain and resolved a Spike Shot Elder. Nick played another Coast and then paid 2 life going down to 18 to put a Porcelain Legionnaire into play. Then Scudder resolved a Goblin War Driver and passed the turn. Nick then played an Island and then attacked with his Legionnaire, dropping Scudder to 17. Then post-combat, he resolved a Geist of St. Traft. For Scudder's next combat, he attacked with both his creatures. Nick blocked the War Driver with his Geist, and then paid two life, going down to 16, to use a Mutagenic Growth to pump the Geist. He then paid two more life, going down to 14, in order to cast a Marl Shards and kill the Spike Shot Elder. So in response, Scudder used the Spike Shot's ability to do one damage to the Porcelain Legionnaire and kill it. Nick started off his next turn by putting a Moreland Haunts into play. He then attacked with his Geist and brought an Angel along with it for 6 damage, dropping Scudder to 11. Then on Scudder's next turn, he played a Goblin Fire Slinger and then followed it up with the second Spike Shot Elder. At the end of the turn, Nick used his Moreland Haunt to exile a creature card from his graveyard and get himself a Spirit Token. He also used a Vapor Snag to bounce the Spike Shot Elder and drop Scudder to 10. Then on his turn, he used another Vapor Snag to bounce the Fire Slinger and drop Scudder to 9. He then attacked with the team, dropping Scudder to 2. Scudder started off his next turn by playing a rootbound crag, but he decided to go ahead and scoop it up, giving Nick the win and taking them to game three. So that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. You can find the full version in the annotations at the end, along with links to my Let's Play Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012, as well as my playtesting with my Glissa Grave deck. And as always, if you like this or any other video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites. Then subscribe to be notified when more videos are online.